Welcome to this video. And in this video, I'll be taking an example of a question in the pole placement design technique. And so for the feedback gain matrix K, using the three methods that we have learned so far, that is the direct substitution method, the Ackermann's formula, and the use of the transformation matrix T. This is our question. Given the system defined by the state equations, which are given, then the system uses the state feedback control law, U is equals to negative K, X of T. It is desired to have the closed loop poles at S is equals to negative 10, and S is equals to minus two plus or minus J4. Determine the state feedback gain matrix K. So this is our system, and we want to design or to determine the gain matrix K that will be able to place the poles at negative 10 and negative two plus or minus J4. Now, we will endeavor to solve for K using the three methods. So I'll start with the first method, which is the direct substitution method. The direct substitution method. The system is defined such that the matrix A, matrix A is 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, negative 1, negative 5, negative 6. The matrix B is given as the matrix 0, 0, 1. Remember in the pole placement design, we are not going to use the matrix C. Before we design by the pole placement design technique, we say that we first test for controllability of the system and we define the controllability matrix M to be equal to this being a third order system, then it will be B, A, B, A squared, B. From which we determine M determinant, and if it is non-zero, then the system is controllable. Let's determine the matrix M using a MATLAB. I will solve for M using MATLAB. So our matrix A is defined as zero, one, zero, 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 one, negative one, negative five, negative six. Our matrix B, sorry. That is our matrix A. Our matrix B, is defined as 0, 0, 1. M is defined as the matrix B, A, B, and then A squared B. That is our matrix M. That is our matrix M. It's good to note that's our matrix M. We determine the determinant of the matrix M. So the determinant of the matrix M is negative one. Because the determinant is non-zero, then the system is completely controllable. Okay. So we have noted then that our matrix M is the matrix, our matrix M 
is the matrix zero, zero, one, zero, one, negative six, zero, negative six, that one. Its determinant we've noted is negative one, and therefore the system is completely controllable. Next, because this is a third order system, we define K to be the matrix K1, K2, K3. The desired characteristic equation, the desired characteristic equation, the desired characteristic equation of the system can be obtained as follows. So the poles are S is equals to minus 10 and S is equals to minus two plus or minus J four. That means the characteristic equation will be S plus 10 into S plus two minus J four into S plus two plus J four is equals to zero. If you expand this, we get S plus 10 into S plus two squared minus J four squared is equals to zero, which will yield yes, S plus 10 into S squared plus four S plus four plus 16 is 20 is equals to zero which will give us S cubed plus 14 S squared plus 60 S plus 200 is equals to zero. We can call that equation one. That is the desired characteristic equation based on the location of the poles. The characteristic equation of the system from the model or from the controller is given by SI minus A plus BK determinant is equals to zero. We first determine SI minus A plus BK. Our BK will be the matrix zero, zero, one, multiplied by K, which is K1, K2, K3. And this one will give us zero, 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 K1, K2, K3. Our matrix SI minus A will give us S0, zero, 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 zero S0, zero. Then zero zero s that is s i minus the matrix A which was zero one zero 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 one minus one minus five minus six plus B K which is zero zero K one zero zero K two zero zero K three all these, the determinant is equal to zero. From which we notice that we have S minus one, zero, and we'll have zero, S negative one, then we'll have K one plus one, this will be K2 plus five. And this will be S plus K3 plus six. Determinant is equals to zero. The determinant will give us S into this S and then into the product here will give us S squared plus K3 plus 6S plus K2 plus 5 minus 
but because this is negative, so it will be plus into, so the terms here are zero, plus this and this, so this will be zero minus minus, that's plus K1 plus one is equals to zero, which upon expansion will give us S cubed plus K3 plus six S squared plus K2 plus five S plus K1 plus one is equals to zero. And we can call this equation two. Equations one and two are the characteristic equation of the system based on the desired location of the poles from equation one and based on the controller or introduction of the controller into the system. And therefore, if we equate the two, then we can solve for K1, K2, and K3. The characteristic equation of the system from this is S cubed plus 14 S squared plus 60 S plus 200 is equals to zero. So I compare the two, this is S cubed plus 14 S squared plus 60 S plus 200 is equals to zero. If I compare the constants in the two case, then K1 plus one is 200, and therefore K1 will be equal to 199. I compare the coefficients of S in both cases, K2 plus five is 60, from which K2 will be 55. Finally, the coefficients of S squared will mean K3 plus six is equals to 14, from which K3 is equals to eight. And therefore our K is the matrix K1, 199, K2, 55, and K3, eight. And this is the required feedback gain matrix K that will ensure that the poles of the system are located at the specified locations. And that is by use of the first method, which is the direct substitution method. Method number two is by use of the Ackermann's formula. By use of the Ackermann's formula. By use of the Ackermann's formula, this being a third order system, then K will be defined by zero, zero, one, multiplied by M inverse, multiplied by pi of A. Yep. So our matrix M, we have already determined M, which is B, AB, A squared B, this one has already been evaluated. Our pi of A, we determined phi of A from the characteristic equation of the desired system, from this equation. This is the desired characteristic equation. Where there is S, we substitute for S is equals to A. And therefore, phi of A will be obtained as follows will be S cubed, sorry, A cubed or phi of A will be A cubed plus 14A squared plus 60A plus 200I is our phi of A, where A is defined as the matrix 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, minus 1, minus 5, minus 6. And through that, then we can obtain our gain matrix K. Now let's solve for phi of A. Our M, our M, we have already determined M from the previous method. 
our M is this matrix 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, negative 6, 0, negative 6, that one, which is the controllability matrix. Our M is therefore the matrix 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, negative 6, and then 1, negative 6, 31. Our phi of A will be determined as follows. So we can use MATLAB again to evaluate phi of A by taking A cubed plus 14A squared plus 60A plus 20I, where I will be an identity matrix of the same order as A, which means it will be a three by three matrix as 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0 1. So allow me to solve for phi of A in MATLAB as follows. My A is already defined. My A is already defined as that matrix. I define the matrix I, which is an identity matrix of order three as one, zero, 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 one, zero and then zero, zero, one. Then the matrix phi, I can call it P, which will be equal to, P will be equal to, this is the matrix A raised to the power of three plus 14 multiplied by A squared plus 60, multiplied by A plus 200 multiplied by I, and that is our matrix P. That is our matrix P. Which is our phi of A. Okay, so we can copy that matrix into our example or our illustration. Our phi of A, we have obtained this matrix to be 199, 55, 8, negative seven, negative 43, and 117. That is our phi of A. Then we can get our K to be zero, zero, one, multiplied by A inverse, which is zero, zero, one, zero, one, negative six, one, negative six, 31, inverse, multiplied by phi of A, which is 199, 55, 8, minus 8, 159, 7, and then negative second, negative 43, and 117. So again, we can compute this in MATLAB as follows. Our matrix K, we need to define the matrix 0, 0, 1. That one I can call it matrix I can say K is equals to the matrix zero, so the matrix zero, zero, one, multiplied by the matrix M inverse, so inverse of the matrix M, multiplied by phi of A, which is P. And that gives us our K, that gives us our K, which is 199.55.8. So we've noted then that our K is similar to what we obtained previously as 199.55.8. And that is by use of the Ackermann's formula.
Method number three is by use of the transformation matrix T. By use of the transformation matrix T. Okay. For us to use the transformation matrix T, we are required first to determine the controllability of the system. Controllability of the system. And we noted that M determinant is not equal to zero, and therefore the system is completely controllable. That is the first test that we check, that the system is completely controllable by evaluating the determinant of the controllability matrix M. Number two, we determine the characteristic equation of the matrix A as SI minus A determinant is equals to zero. And we said that this will be a polynomial in S with coefficients AI. So our SI minus A determinant will evaluate to the following. It will be S zero, zero, 0 s 0 0 0 s we subtract the matrix a minus the matrix a which is 0 1 0 0 0 1 negative 1 negative 5 negative 6 this determinant we equate it to 0 from which we can obtain s negative 1 0 0 S negative one, one, five, then S plus six determinant is equals to zero, which upon expansion will get S into S squared plus six S. So this is S squared plus six S and then plus five minus minus one. So plus then this will give us zero plus one is equals to zero from which you can get S cubed plus six S squared plus five S plus one is equals to zero. We compare this with a third order polynomial in S as S cubed plus A one S squared plus A two S plus A three is equals to zero, where A three will be equal to one, A two will be equal to five, and A one is six. That is, the characteristic equation of the matrix A. Next, number three, we are supposed to determine the transformation matrix T, which is given by MW. We say that T is given by MW, but if the system is already in controllable canonical form, then the matrix T is equal to I. I want us to check and confirm that the system is written in controllable canonical form. This was our system. Notice in controllable canonical form, the first term is zero, then one, zero. The second row is zero, zero, one. And then the last row is the row of the negated values of the coefficient of the characteristic equation of the matrix A. And we have noted that these are the coefficients of the matrix A negative. That is one, five, six, one, five, six in that order. These are the one, five, six, which are the coefficients of the characteristic equation of the matrix A. And therefore, we can show that the system is already written in controllable canonical form. And therefore, our matrix T is equal to an identity matrix, which is a third order or a three by three identity matrix for T. We can also show this by determining 
M W. We first determine the matrix W. We said that the matrix W will be evaluated for a third order system as follows. Our W will be the matrix A2, A1, 1, A1, 1, 0, and then 1, 0, 0. That is our matrix W, which you can write as, then we determine the values of A2 and A1 as 5 and 6. So this is going to be 5, 1, 1, A1 is 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0. That is our matrix W. We can feed this matrix W into MATLAB and solve for T, which is equals to M W, where M, M was defined as the matrix, take you back again, the matrix M was defined by 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, negative 6, 0, negative 6, 31. So we can feed those matrices. We want us to feed the matrix the matrix W, which is 5, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, into MATLAB as follows. Our matrix W is defined as the matrix 5, 1, 1, then 1, 1, 0, then 1, 0, 0. Our matrix T will be M times W. Okay, that is our matrix T. It must have errored somewhere in the determination of the matrix. One, one, zero, one, zero, zero, matrix W. Okay, let me take you back. Check for the matrix W. A2 is five, oh, A1 is six. We errored here. A1 is 6. That means this matrix should have been correct this as A1, which is 6, 6. Then we correct that into MATLAB. So the matrix W will be, this is six, and this is six, that's our matrix W, and then we evaluate T. And as you can see, T is an identity matrix of order three, since the system is already written in controllable canonical form. So that means T is an identity matrix of order three. The next step, step number four, is to determine the desired characteristic equation from the specification of the poles of the system. We noted that the desired characteristic equation of the system is S plus 10 into S plus two squared minus j4 squared is equals to zero, which evaluated to s cubed plus 14 s squared plus 60 s plus 200 is equals to zero, which you can compare to a polynomial in s with alpha i as the coefficient as s cubed plus alpha one s squared plus alpha 2s plus 200i is equals to zero. 
where alpha one is 14, alpha two is 60, and alpha three is 200. Okay. Then our matrix K is defined by alpha three minus A three, alpha two minus A two, alpha one minus A one multiplied by T inverse. But because T is an identity matrix, the inverse of T will still be one. And therefore our K will be equal to alpha three minus a3, alpha 3 is 200, A3 is 1, that will give us 199. Alpha 2 is 60 minus A2, A2 is 5, that will give us 60 minus 5, which is 55. And finally, alpha 1 minus A1, which is 14, minus 6, which will give us 8. And you can see this is the same matrix that we have obtained using the previous two methods. And that is the solution of the gain feedback matrix K using the three methods. That is the direct substitution method, the Ackermann's formula, and the transformation matrix T method as discussed previously. Otherwise, that is the end of my presentation and thank you for watching this video.